So do you just care about whether there is motion or you want to know exactly what that motion is based on what you're seeing so far? Basically what we want to find out is how these neurons drive leg motion and we don't exactly know which parameter, if any one, they control. Kristen is one of our colleagues who's a computer vision expert and she's really helping us bring the next level of behavioral quantification and automation to high-speed videos that we take in conjunction with our physiological recordings. And so Kristen is helping us design an algorithm to track the fly's legs from these videos so that we can see how specific leg movements uh, correlate with activity in specific descending neurons. We have a general project in my lab to try to track body parts of animals. A few different setups both in larvae and mice where we're trying to do this. In mice we want to track the paws of the mouse. Fly legs are a lot harder than the paws with six legs um, and they're very fine structures. So it's kind of taking that algorithm that we've got working pretty well for the paws and making it work on these much more difficult videos. It's a brand new project. It's a really a collaborative effort. We've given her a new kind of data that she hasn't worked with before, and she's seeing that she can use that to make her algorithms more general and more flexible. The occluded legs, like the legs which are outside of the plane, that's going to be very hard to do. How does your algorithm handle occlusions? Does it do that? Jan in Gwyneth's lab has been collecting data where you have a, a fly tethered to a stick and he's interested in how the fly's legs move as they activate various neurons. So we would like to be able to track the positions of joints in the fly's legs during these videos using computer vision techniques. The behavior is fairly subtle and we want to know kind of all of the details of exactly how it's moving its legs. This is the left middle leg, this is the right hind leg. Okay, so this is point number four. Point number four. It's the leg in the background, so it which is, is one way. of the middle legs. Yeah, yeah this, this is, is one of the middle legs. We are manually tracking legs and putting dots on legs for a few training examples. And then she takes that manual data and her algorithm learns where we've placed the dots and then tries to itself automatically place similar markers on legs in new videos. We have a few different setups where we're trying to, where we're recording videos of fly legs. Um, one in my lab, one with Gwyneth's lab, and then one with Vivek Jaraman's lab. And so in all of them, people are interested in tracking the legs, so we're developing algorithms to, to do that. It's very sometimes difficult to actually identify where the joints of the animal are in the video, but being able to find leg segments might be an easier problem that um, I don't think anyone in computer vision has worked on yet, so it might be a way of reformulating the problem that um, you know, would be novel and would you know, solve the problem better. This was the first time that we had been able to show her uh, what our markers looked like, and so we didn't know whether that was going to be acceptable to her algorithm or not. So how many points have you labeled at this point? I mean, seven in three videos. For the whole video? Mm -hmm. Every 10 frames? Uh, every 10th frame, yeah. And there are how many frames in the video? Uh, six to 8,000. Okay, okay, that's a lot. Um, uh, okay, we should be able to try training.